Hey everybody, it's Mr. Connors here, back with our next installation of how to blog using Blogger. Again, we're back on our 8th grade design tech blog, which we'll use as the example for how we're going to walk through these how to do it tutorials. If you were to take a look at our worksheet, we're now talking about adding new posts. And really, that's the biggest part of Blogger, is posting new and interesting information. In fact, it's pretty much the main reason why you've got a blog is to actually have interesting posts up there and your worksheet is going to be asking for some simple information about the blog post process itself how do you format your posts how can you label and tag your posts you know what options do you have to manage your posts you know how can you create some interesting titles so why don't we hop in and actually go through the process of creating a new post so you can can get a sense and an idea of how that happens. So I'm going to switch back to my blog. And you'll notice right up here you can either add a new post there or you can be in the post screen and add a new post here or add a new post using the pencil. Any time you see this pencil icon it just generally means add a new post. So many different ways to do it. Well that's because well blogger wants you to post new posts. If you take a look, you can see I currently have a couple of posts already started. Some of them have already been posted or published on my blog, and some of them are still in draft mode. For right now, though, we're actually going to go ahead and click on this awesome pencil to create a new post. And when we do, this part of the post should look fairly familiar. Well, it's actually the exact same information you have right here. So what you're seeing on my screen and what you see on your screen, well, that's it. It's just I've added some boxes on the worksheet to help you insert some information telling you a little bit about each of these. So you've got the area where you can actually post your post title, the buttons that allow you to publish your post when you're happy with it, save it so it doesn't get lost when you, I don't know, log out or close your computer or lose electricity. You can do a quick preview to see what it looks like and close so you can move on. There are two main ways to compose posts. Well, composing just in what we'd call a WYSIWYG or what you see is what what you get view, kind of like Microsoft Word or any other contemporary uh, word processing document will allow you to edit in real time so you can kind of get a general sense of what it's going to look like. Or you could edit in HTML view. This is a little bit of an advanced technique for those students who know how to use HTML to mark up or tag their um, documents so they can actually get into the nitty gritty of, of what it looks like. And I'll show you a post in just a moment with some HTML coding inside. It's certainly not for the beginner. You've got your text formatting tools along here. If you want to bold, italicize, underline, change, you know, the, the style of the font or, you know, the size and what type of font you use. Or you can actually do things like highlighting and change the font color. These are three very important buttons right here. Linking links to outside resources, linking or adding inserted images, and inserting videos and each of these actually has their own pop-up we'll talk about a little bit later on you can actually even format your paragraphs with alignment and bullets and numbering do quotations if you got a quote from somebody else's website and finally over here there's some important information about adding labels like if I want to add a label of bloggers of the world unite or the investigate phase or actually you're gonna tag that post with information so it makes it easier to find um, the other things aren't too important for right now. Just do me a favor, don't add a location on right now. Well, we don't want people necessarily looking for us according to where our posts are coming from. Hint, hint. But this is where you're going to be composing most of the information. And as I said, it works very similar to Microsoft Word in the Compose mode. Why don't you try it out a little bit? Give a little preview and see how it feels and how it works. But remember, coming back to our worksheet. I'm looking for you to tell me some information about what the function of each of these areas is and the purpose. So what's the purpose of inserting multimedia? What is the function of composing in the compose mode versus the HTML mode? And why is it important to have a catchy and interesting post title? That's the information I want to hear from you. Don't forget, we've got a couple more worksheets and next we'll be hearing about, well, how to go about inserting those links, images, and video. I'll see you next time.